Hey guys, it's April. We are working on today's annual supporter file. This, I reworked a file that I had from 2019 when I did a log and a card with a tree on the front and this kind of thing. Um, and because I saw somebody had used the same type mechanism and done like a vase. And I wanted to do one that looked like a Cricut mug on the front of it there. How cute is that? And it is, it lays flat once you fold it. Love this card. So I'm going to show you guys how to put it together. I released the file to you early, early, early this morning. And I wanted to make sure that I did a video to show you guys how it went together. Now you've got extra. I cut extras because I wasn't sure how many of those I'd need, but you don't need but one. I've corrected the file to the right amount of stuff that you guys need, um, and I changed up how I did mine. I, I used parts that I cut for this card for this one, and I'll explain to you guys what that was later because I'm not going to put all of my flowers in. I'm going to show you guys how to do it, but it's nothing that you can't do on your own. So we're just taking our sentiment for the inside of the card and we're layering it up on a piece of the dark blue panel. And I did eighth of an inch border. If you want a larger border, just make your sentiment panel smaller. I just didn't want all of the layers to be the attention grabber in this one. I wanted the cup to be the center of attention so I kind of muted these down a little bit and then you're just going to place it right to the inside of the card again I just left an eighth of an inch small white border on there all right and then you can close it and before we get started. You've got a blue strip. Now you can replace this with ribbon if you prefer. Um, that's totally up to you. I just made it just a little bit. I'm just going to wrap it right around that base. Okay. And get a good pinch on there. So you can put it down here in just a second. Now I, I'm using vellum. This vellum came from Stampin' Up. I apologize. I don't know the name of the name of the paper pack or anything. Uh, Amanda Niemeyer in our group is a Stampin' Up demonstrator. Should you want to order this and you don't have a demonstrator. Now I'm using a tape runner. I get these off of Amazon and the green ones are for vellum. Okay. And they just don't show as badly. And again, eighth of an inch. Hopefully I'm gonna get that on there straight. Don't pay attention to mine. I got a little bit of an edge over here where I didn't cut right. And I didn't want to waste the paper. So I'm just going to live with mine. But yours should be, yours should cut fine. I had to replace my blade. So then I'm going to take this piece. And I'm just going to, I'm going to use the uh, tape runner on there. On the front side here. And just tape that down to the center so I can see where it goes. I've already got my folds on there. And just going to keep it straight. All right. And then I'll use glue on the back to adhere those little tails. And I just did it this way in case you guys do use ribbon to remind you to put your ribbon on before you do your next step. Okay, which is to glue it to this piece because I always forget that when I do ribbon. So I figured if I had a piece of card stuck in there, it would remind me. Glue is wanting to. Clog. There we go. There we go. 
And which way are my words going? There we go. And we're going to place that onto this panel. Again, eighth of an inch, just a small border. And I'm using art glitter glue. It'll dry matte and clear. Just gonna press that down. And we are going to glue that right to the front. Let me grab my pen and see if I can't get that glue flowing a little bit better. There we go, maybe. There we go. All right, so now make sure I'm putting it on the card correctly. And we're just gonna pop that right onto that base. So far easy, right? We're gonna open it up and then same thing with this vellum, I'm going to place it. I'm just gonna, I don't wanna get extra glue if it goes off the edge. And we're going to place this. Now this one is smaller, so you've got a bigger border on here, but I did that because again, I just wanted it to look kind of like a magazine or newspaper laying down under it. Ooh, and I did get it on there straight. Most of that's gonna get covered, so make sure that you got yourself a good border all the way around, just even. And we are going to wait on the front. Now, while I'm doing this, I just wanted to say, I went in after I cut this on my yellow paper and I used my black Cricut gel pen. I went in with some Copic marker and just highlighted areas. I stayed away from my ink. You don't want to smear your ink with alcohol markers or anything like that. So you may want to do a test area and um, work on it and color those in. Just take your time and they will come out very, very, very pretty. Okay guys, I'm back. Sorry the phone rang. Um, I've got my tabs on here. I almost forgot something. You're going to put your glue or your tape. I can peel that off, I think. Slowly. I've got my tape here, and I can, you can even use a tiny bit of wet glue here if you want, okay? Totally up to you. I want to put this on. I think I got this the right way. You're just going to place this piece right down on that tail okay just like so and then you're going to put your tape on with it like this folded back your tape on this piece but before you go any further you want to take this piece and thread it on just like that okay so you've got your blue bar part of that right here and then the handle part to the outside okay and you can just leave it folded like that it's not going to hurt anything don't peel your re release liners yet all right and now with it you want to line this up where you want your cup and i want it just above just right above my vellum layer and i'm just going to fold these two pieces back out of the way don't want them in the way get everything lined up don't worry about the overhang, that's okay. It's not gonna stay there. You're going to bring this tail up right up to the edge of the score without getting in the way of the score. And once you have everything lined up, you're just gonna close that card. And then you're gonna be left with something like this, okay? It's gonna look just like this. Then you're going to open it back up and you can fold this back and pull off your release liners here. Get those 
this off. I don't know what brand of tape that is, but those release liners are tough. So now with that, I'm going to hold that up in the air and I'm going to place this all the way to that edge, just like so. Pull it through. And we are going to stick that down. That's going to act as your stop, okay? And if you want to put glue underneath this piece, you can. You don't have to. It's totally up to you. Now you're going to peel these release liners. And you're going to hold those back just like so try not to let them get stuck to anything and you're going to with those back you're just going to pull these hopefully you can see as you close the card you want those to stay back you can see here just kind of gently guiding them as I close the card All right, and then when we open, and I got one that didn't bend. You're gonna have to be careful because if you get that adhesive on the front, it's not gonna stick. That one stayed down, so I'm pretty sure I can do that again. So you want them to stick like so, okay? Hopefully you can see that in there. And if you, it doesn't go right the first time, that's why you don't want to use glue. You don't want anything getting stuck in there. You want to make sure you use the tapes, that you don't have any overhang on the glues or anything else. You don't want anything getting stuck, okay? Like I am here. stuck to something. I promise you this does work. Something is getting stuck. Oh, there we go. I got some glue somewhere. Now we're working. Just make sure that it's working good. Now I am going to glue my handle down right here. Not necessary, but just to make sure that that's not getting caught. I think that's what it was. So yeah, glue your handle down. Because I have no, had no problem with that over here. So you can see. This piece in the file, you're just going to fold it in half. Doesn't have to be perfect. Not going to see it. You just want a strong piece of paper. Okay. And then I'm just going to run some glue inside it. just keep working it until it glues together okay. and you can set that to the side next I'm going to take 
the smallest one of this right here, of the flowers. And I'm just gonna give it a little curl just to help me glue that down. And I just glued a little bit on the bottom edge and glued it right to the top edge of the cup. If you prefer to pop dot that up, you can do that. Now this is paper, but you can use cardstock. And that's probably another reason why mine's hanging up because everything's cardstock except my designer paper. If I had done cardstock, yeah, it's working now. Yay. Just wanted to be sure there wasn't a problem before you guys got it. All right. Now I am going to take this piece and do a little curl on that too. And I just used a foam dot. I'm going to use a dimensional here. And I placed it underneath so that I could get so I would know that it wasn't going to show. So I just popped it in underneath the center because I don't want it to show up in the card. And then I peeled my release liner off. If you guys can see that. So just have it stuck in there. And then I brought this piece in and played it, placed it right there. Don't worry about these kicking up because you're going to be using, you have an extra one of these that I don't have because I didn't cut enough for mine and I cut one apart for the inside. You've got two for the outside and then two for the inside, a large one and a small one. So you're just going to take these and then cut them apart and put a foam dot on there and then you're going to just place them in where you want them right here just going to place those in i will be cutting another one so you're just going to figure out where you want it and pop it in there with a dot on each side okay with your two small leaves again once you pop that in you can see how it makes that lay down, okay? You just want to be sure that you don't get into your score area over here, okay? And you don't want it hanging outside the card when it's closed. So check those. And then I took this piece, and before I get too far, I'm going to come over here and do the front so it's not messing with my design and when I start pushing on that so this piece and you can cut this apart if you want as well because I used my small one <clears throat> one is large and one is small I'm gonna cut that apart from the inside maybe no that's gonna be my inside piece I'm missing one All right, that's all right. I can stick it in there after. So I'm just going to grab my dimensionals because I did pop this up. I will deal with adding my other piece. You guys go ahead and add yours. I'm just going to place that right on the front. And then this piece I put here. So I just want a dimensional here. And then one down here. And then I glued mine here. All right. So I'm peel those back. And I'm not going to press these down hard because I have to cut another leaf, one of the small ones for the front of mine, and I'm gonna tuck it right up under there. 
so you can see it's going to go right up under dimensional under each leaf and pop it right in there and then I put a butterfly sequin right on the top sequins there and then the front is done I would do my sequins absolutely last so now this fun piece comes in and we're just going to fold over the top just like so and I'm not gonna put my flower on it yet we're gonna just kind of tuck it down in you want it to be loose and floppy at the top there and that's fine just like that and I'm just going to put a little bit of glue right there on the end of this only and place it in from the bottom up okay because you don't want to get glue on your mechanism and I am going to be gluing that stem right here next to the edge of this piece without getting glue into the mechanism if you get it on this strip here then it's going to mess things up for you so just like that okay just glue it right there and then I'm putting a foam dimensional right on the piece we folded over. You can put another bend in it if you want. Just right on the end. I put a dimensional there. And I'm just going to fold it over. Peel that release liner. And this is where you'll really want to dry fit this before you commit. But with the foam dot, you can pull it back off. And you can see I put mine with the leaf up. We're just going to kind of tuck that in. I'm going to give it a little curve. And then just press it down. So now this piece is actually stuck on there okay that's all it needs to hold it and then you're going to tuck your leaves in and you can glue these directly down on there if you want depending on how you want to do it I did cut these apart And then you're just going to glue them in and tuck them down wherever you want them to pop out. And again, I'm going to cut another one. I'm just going to go ahead and place one in here just so you guys can see how I did it. just stick that one on and then I'm going to place this large one over here and then once I cut my others I'll tuck those in just like you can see here super easy and simple how fun is that all right guys there you go fun easy simple way to do this pop out card and again place all your leaves like you need them you can change the flowers out do whatever you want to do on those it's going to be a lot of fun all right i will catch you guys on the next video see you thursday for tutorial thursday happy crafting